Hi guys and welcome back to Real Talk with Steph. Now before we get into today's topic, I wanted to ask you which of these do you think are false? Which of these statements do you think are false? I'll put them up now. So how did you go? Turns out all of them are false, which is quite surprising because, you know, um, we're so used to hearing so many of those things in regards to our kids and healthy and exercise that we begin to believe them. But that's what we like to do here on High Reps is go through some of the things, even in, with our adults um, and our athletes, is bringing up those topics and going through them and debunking those myths so that you've got more information and a better understanding of your own health and fitness, but for your kids, um, the best for them and for our athletes. So I'm gonna go over three of those, those today and I'm going to explain to you why they are not true. So it's always good to encourage participation in regards to group sports for kids, but it's not for everybody. And you know, they're not, um, we don't wanna force them into anything that they don't wanna do for the simple fact that they're just not going to enjoy it and they're going to put up a fight and it's not really pleasurable. So the aim is to keep them moving, keep them being active, running, jumping, all those type of things. And that can be done in any type of environment. Um, it's about moving them away from their devices and social media and things like that and getting them outside and being active. So have a chat to them, find out what they might enjoy and um, try get them to try a few different things and encourage them to try a few different things because it might not be a team sport that they enjoy, but they might enjoy, it might be swimming, um, it might be gymnastics or something that's an individual sport, but something that they can do on their own um, in a group environment. So there's plenty for them to do. It's just about finding the right thing for them. You might think that, you know, to get the best out of exercise and being active, we need to be really sweaty and out of breath. That might be the case for adults, but for kids to reap the rewards of exercise and being fit, they don't need to excessively sweat or be out of breath the whole time. It's about getting the recommended daily activity per day and we don't want to push them, you know, pushing them to their, their limits is not going to be good for their health. Um, you know, if it's a really hot day and you pushing them, um, is just going to make them dehydrated and, you know, tired and things like that. It's just about getting them to be, keep moving, being active so that they enjoy exercise. This is one that I'm sure we've always heard and um, most probably believe is that resistance training is going to stunt our child's growth. Now in a controlled professional environment with a qualified uh, coach and trainer, it's going to be okay. Different age groups are going to be um, able to do certain types of resistance training and knowing those types um, of resistance training for each age group is what's going to make it safe and enjoyable for them and actually reap rewards. The really good thing about resistance training is that it um, improves children's balance, uh, improves their overall health, improves strong bones and better posture, and it also helps with mental health. So strength training and resistance training isn't um, going to stunt your child's growth if it's done in a professional um, and supervised environment and that the, the coaches and trainers know what they're doing and know what they're doing for each age group. So that was the myths, um, a few myths in regards to our kids being active and healthy and that not everything that we read and hear is true. We want to make sure that we research and if you're not um, sure, always ask someone that is um, qualified to help you with those things like someone at higher reps. We do a active kids program, which I'm sure most of you already know about, um, but it is a, in, a, in a controlled environment so that kids can be active. They can uh, learn to enjoy exercise, to love exercise and being active. And we find that a lot of our kids uh, enjoy this program because they might not have been doing team sports or finding an activity that um, they enjoy and is, is in regards to exercise because a lot of it is group sports. Um, the kids absolutely love it. They make new friends. They um, find out things that, in regards to their exercise that they um, 
didn't know before, um, but also it's just a healthy, fun environment to keep kids active and having fun. So if you'd like more information on that program, feel free to um, get in contact with us. I will put the details in regards to our website and all the information on here. But that was our Real Talk with Steph today, and that was going on about a few myths um, and debunking them for our active kids. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye.